Welcome back to the channel everyone and we are doing our monthly review on Movie World on the Gold Coast. We're going to go through the main merchandising shop today as it's getting close to Christmas. So hopefully this will help with picking out any presents for Christmas that you may want to give people. Also if you're visiting from outside the area, hopefully this video will help you spot anything you may want and you can spend more time doing rides and attractions. So after we look through the merchandise I'll take you over the rides and what's happening at Movie World over the next month. December and January are always the busiest times of the year for Movie World because of the school holidays and also everyone's wanting to have a holiday because of the lockdowns that everybody's had to put up with for the past eight months, nine months. So in order to get into Movie World you've got to download the Village Roadshow theme park app for entry into the park as well as fill out a Queensland Government contact tracing form which is actually on the app and you can just fill it out through that. So if you do that before you arrive at the park, you're going to save yourself a heap of time at the gate. So you're not held up at all. Don't forget to scan your ticket with the app prior to entry as well. Really impressed with their range of trademark products available in store and surprisingly priced fairly cheap as well. A great range of clothing available from Tweety through to superheroes such as Batman. Right, so while we're looking through the range, I'll just tell you a bit about the uh, Movie World White Christmas. Movie World's White Christmas is running this year from the 4th of December through to the 20th of December. Tickets are $29 or if you hold a yearly one pass you can get one free entry into the event. Make sure you jump onto the White Christmas website and book your ticket. White Christmas starts at 5.30 and goes through to 8.30. All the major rides will be open on the night including rides that are down for maintenance plus while West Falls won't be operating. At this stage there is no times on the entertainment schedule apart from the White Christmas Parade which starts at 8pm. There will be different things happening in all the precincts. I am going to one of the first White Christmas nights so I'll post a video as soon as I can after the event. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. This way you will know when the video is up on YouTube so you can see everything that goes on this year's White Christmas. Also, I'll be doing a separate video next month on the different foods available at Movie World. Hopefully this will help anyone coming to Movie World over the Christmas period.
Still a fair amount of rise down for maintenance at the moment. Arkham Asylum is still down for maintenance, but I still believe that the right isn't going to open again and they're going to tear it down. Green Lantern is also down with no opening date advised on the Movie World website, so not sure what's happening there. Justice League 3D is down for short maintenance and should be open on the 15th of November and the same goes for Yogi Bear 4D experience in the Roxy Theatre. Unfortunately the Scooby Doo Spooky Coaster is going to be down until the 20th of December as is the Doomsday Destroyer. Wild West Falls is back up and operating from the 20th of October and it's probably one of the best rides at Movie World to do in summer because you can go on the ride and at the end of it you get soaked so you get to cool down a little bit. DC Rivals Hypercoaster is still running and if you want an extra thrill pay to ride it backwards and what a rush it is. Because it's the longest roller coaster in the southern hemisphere it's definitely not wasted money on the experience. Try the Batwing Space Shot if you haven't been to Movie World before, you get some great views when you hit the top and bounce it down. Superman Escape is definitely one of my favourite rides at Movie World because the theming before you take off is really detailed and it feels like you're actually in the movie. Let's take a walk down to the Kids Warner Brother Fun Zone and as you can see looking at the Looney Tunes carousel, after each ride is finished the staff need to clean down every seat and pole and this is the same with all the rides. Wait times can be long but it's well worth it. Probably the best family ride to try in the zone is the Roadrunner roller coaster as it's not scary and it's a great introduction to the thrill rides as it's not that high and it's a short ride so it's good for the kids to try out. Make sure you check out the theming on the junior driving school. The kids are going to love going on that ride and guess what adults can go on it too so yeah I do it. It's quite fun. Uh, something different. Yeah, for the little kids try Speedy and Gonzales Tijuana taxis. It's a great introduction to steering a car. Make sure you bring swimmers and towel for the kids and try the Looney Tunes splash zone. Sylvester and Tweety Cages are also a nice easy thrill ride to introduce small children to. Sylvester's Pounce and Bounce is still under maintenance with no expected opening date on the website. Yosemite Sam's Railroad will be back up and running on the 17th of November, just in time for the school holiday rush. My top tip for coming to Movie World is go onto the Movie World website and check the height requirements for each ride to avoid any disappointment from your kids. Make sure you check out the Studio Showcase located on the left on your way to Wild West Falls. Such a great lineup of movie props and popular movies like Shazam, Wonder Woman and Suicide Squad. Movie World have definitely had done a fantastic job on creating the area of the park. Plus it's good to get a bit of aircon in the middle of those hot summer days as well. If you're getting value out of this video, please hit the subscribe button so I can keep you up to date with what's happening at Movie World and other parks on the coast. Make sure you go and watch the Hollywood Stunt Driver show. It's a really fun show if you like the smell of rubber. Also, if you don't get a chance to do the Hollywood Stunt Driver show, I've got a video which I'll link at the end of this video that you can just watch. As you head up Main Street, you are going to see a lot of superheroes and Looney Tune characters. Please make sure you stay at least 1.5 metres away from them just due to current restrictions. Hopefully sometime next year your children will be able to cuddle their favourite character and shake hands. But who knows how long these restrictions are going to last. Make sure you watch the Street Star Parade. Shows daily at 3pm 
Apart from Thursday the 19th of November for some reason, uh, they'll be starting at 2.15pm. Not sure what the story is there. Thanks so much for watching guys. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.